This is Mike D. presenting the Splat House players doing Monos, the Hands of Fate, 1966, in one minute. I'm cold. Where's my dog? All right, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Row, row, row your boat row, gently row, down the stream. Row, row, row your boat. Merrily, 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 merrily boat. Gently life down, down the stream. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. I'm Torgo. I watch after the place and the master's gone. Well, Torgo, what do you say? Can my family stay here? The master will be disappointed, but okay. Michael, Michael! (laughs) I'm a wife. Where's my dog? I'm a wife. 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 Silence! Manos demands it. Uh, Torgo Torgo dies. I'm Mike. I take care of the place while the master's away. The end? This is Tom Naiman. You're listening to the Splat House. The master of food. A lot has happened in the two months since we've been gone. The Ministry of Information recommend we take a mandated spring break with our family via this mandated errand for our legal system. We're here to tell you our spirits are plain plum sprung and broken. After Tommy Hall hijacked our slumber party sleepover feed during Valentine's Day, Mike D and I have been on a whirlwind tour to stop Tommy's symphony of madness against the Splat House. We lawyered up. This is Santos Claus. Say hi, Santos. Hi, Santos. Santos Claus, not to be confused with Santos Klaus, is a real ministry-appointed lawyer Mm -hmm. aiming to help us settle our Tommy Hall case once and for all. Tommy Hall and his band of misfit pirates have no place in the glorious town nation of White Creek. That's right. And what you're witnessing now, folks, is the dirty legal work necessary for the red-hot case of piracy put before us. We are en route to our final court appearance, wherein Tommy Hall will be ordered to remove the footage he and his band of hooligans inserted into our otherwise sacred and moving Valentine's Day tribute. Ultimately, even if everything goes to plan, Tommy will also be ordered to replace the film we showed that night, The Sadist, which we love, Mm -hmm. um, but with our preferred V-Day movie, Dirty Dancing. It's a long, complicated process, but we're gonna document our journey and Mm -hmm. keep you, dear viewer, abreast of our situation. Now, you might be asking, Mike D, how is it that you say you're driving, but you're clearly on the bed pretending to drive? And to that, I might say, (laughs) you're clearly new here, YouTube districter. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wouldn't be wrong. We really are just sitting on a bed, pretending to drive across the country. Yeah. Could you yeah. explain that a little bit further? Santos Claus um, Esquire? Well, since all of us are in White Creek and we are confined to a nine or so square mile that define our borders, mm. we live in close contact with each other. A White Creek experience is quite frankly a backup in the court system due to this, since we only have one judge in town and since uh, mm. he's 92 years old. Cases back up and not always solved in the swiftest amount of time. To combat this time infringement, the Ministry of Intertown Travel inserted itself as a solution. Why not mandate travel to and from the courthouse with very impute the time? Today, we are traveling to a courthouse that is more than 200 miles from Slathouse, or 
at least this is what this experience should look and feel like. Yes. It buys Judge Jeremy time to process each case and waiting in line has never been more beautiful. <laughs> it's all very stupid. I like it. Go on. Mm, car trips are sort of like slumber parties, you know? Um, music, friends, family, crummy food, games. Um, they can be fun, and the ministry mandating a car trip, even a fake one, can put a little spring in my step and put a smile on my face, and it's been a hard two months, guys. Tonight's slumber party sleepover is a road trip, mm -hmm. complete with all the things Miss C just mentioned, plus one big time bonus. Mm. We got movie time. Mm -hmm. Oh, we get to watch movies. Mm -hmm. Bet you didn't know that when the ministry assigned you our case, Santa's Claus. Well, I act surprised, but actually assumed as much given your status as celebrity movie host in Light Creek. I mean, we are celebrities. We are. Mm -hmm. And that's why we'll surely win our final court battle with the infamous Pirate Hall. America loves its gods, and no god is more powerful than one that wields movies. That's true. And what movie do we have tonight, Mike D? Santos, you want to take this, buddy? For sure! Santos slipped me five White Creek bucks and a fermented pineapple for the privilege of introducing tonight's feature. Break a leg, kid! Tonight's movie is Manos, The Hands of Fate, all the way back from 1966. A family <laughs> film created as a portrait of the American ideal, contrasted with the stark reality of living within an oppressive society aimed at controlling our bodies and minds, offset with the serene beauty of the Southwest North America. It is very good, and that has never been disputed. It was made by a former fertilizer salesman with the aid of several theater company players from El Paso, Texas. Really mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Enjoy, Manos, as I meet with my clients here and prepare for the epic takedown of Tommy Hall, the sworn nemesis of Sarah and Mighty! We bought car food, which is wildly different from all other foods because it's preceded with the word car. We have car games, mm -hmm. unique, enjoyable activities you can do, and uh, you guessed it, a car. And of course, my second cousin, Maurice, will drop in for his two cents. Maurice is your cousin? No, but I tell people that he is because he's so cute and funny <laughs> and smart that I Santos Klaus is a point-to-point -point lawyer, which to be revealed is cute and funny and smart. <laughs> oh, Santos, you're the best. You helped us be all our court cases and now with this final case to conclude all of our legal battles after this final drive you'll be a legend santos yes a legend uh, for now can i say it say it communications in okay, <laughs> a little while longer and your vacation starts. I'm getting cold, Mother, and hungry. We should be pretty close right now. The agent said it was about 12 miles from Highway 10, and that was Highway 10 back there. But you know, we should have asked for better directions at the last gas station. Listen, I've never gotten this lost before. Okay, Debbie, I'll put the top up. Never mind, Mike. Debbie can come up and sit between us. Now that's better, baby. Why don't we sing a song to help pass the time? Hmm? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily,
All right, mister. I see you have a taillight problem. No excuse. Running late, first vacation, kid getting tired. It's too bad. So, can't you give us a break, officer? Well, all right, all right. I sure do appreciate it. We are running kind of late. Okay, but if you're running late, you should have started earlier. Anyhow, no taillight. Have it fixed. Thank you, officer. Wow. There's nothing up that road. Now look, the sign pointed this way. Mike, let's go back to the crossroads and ask those kids we saw. Okay, okay, but I know we can't be wrong. Look, the sign pointed this way. think we're doing something wrong. Well, whatever it is you're not doing, go don't do it somewhere else. Why don't you guys leave us alone? Come on now, no wisecracks. Just go on home. Okay. Get going, get going. All right already.
I could have sworn we didn't make a wrong turn. You must have. Where did the road go? No need to get upset. We'll find it. Where did this place come from? It wasn't here a few minutes ago. I don't care. Let's see if we can get some directions. Look, there's someone at the door. Torgo, I take care of the place while the master is away. But the child, I'm not sure the master would approve, or the dog. The master doesn't like children. We only want to know where Valley Lodge is. Which way do we go? There is no place like that around here. Mike, I'm scared. It's getting dark. Well, Targo, which way is out of here? There is no way out of here. It will be dark soon. There is no way out of here. No way out? Well, you know, we, we could spend the night here, and then oh, tomorrow my, we can... My... I don't want to spend the night here. I don't like the looks of the place. Well, it seems we have no alternative. Well, how about it, Torgo? Can we spend the night here? Well, I don't know what else we can do. But, Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, how about it, Torgo? I don't want to stay. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. Targo, in or out? Patient, dear. Very well. The master will be very disturbed. I'll get the, the luggage. Barbara, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. <laughs>
See, you're feeling better already. Look at this. be the master himself. Oh, Mike, I'm scared. He has the meanest look. That dog. I'd hate to run up on him in the dark or even in the light for that matter. Must be your master. Where did you say he was? He has left this world, but he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. What? No matter where he goes. What does that mean? That dog. It's the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. There is nothing to fear, madam. The master likes you. Nothing will happen to you. He likes you. Likes me? I thought you said he was dead. Dead? No, madam, not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Not dead the way you know it. He is with us always. Mike, I don't like this. Nothing to worry about. It's only your imagination. I think that it's best that I show you to the bedroom now. Oh, my God. Mike, what was that? Probably some animal in the desert. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm scared, Mike. Michael, I don't care what it is. Chase it away. Okay, if it'll make you relax, I'll go out and see what it is. What happened? I heard... Stay here. Get back into the house. Enjoy the scenery, Mike D. That is the Grand Canyon over there. Oh, wow, beauts! Invented in 1973 for the express reason that humans should be in our nature. The Grand Canyon sees dozens of tourists annually. They sell t-shirts, hats, and serve the best funnel cake outside the Vatican. It's true. Can we play a game? Ha! Ah, that's the spirit. World games are the pastime as old as the Grand Canyon. Let's play one I used to play as Little Santos, traveling across the West with my parents, Karen and Kev Lucha. It's called Alphabet, I'm a Bet. Oh. 
Cool. Well, how do you play? Oh, he's very easy. Spy something along the drive that begins with the letter of the alphabet and then place a bet. Traditionally, we bet with fried potatoes or pocket lint, uh -huh. but you can bet with anything, really. Your bet is, is that no one in the car can name five related objects that begin with the same letter. If your challenge is met and you are defeated, you pay up. But if you defeat the other passenger, they pay you. And then the game continues after a round of row, row, row your boat. How's that sound, kids? Great! Right. Right. Okay, I want to start. I want to start. Yay! Yay. All right. I spy with my little eye. Mm -hmm. Eyes, mm -hmm. eyes, I have two eyes. Uh, you have four eyes. Santa! Mm -hmm. Sarah is bullying me. Cats! Okay, all right. I spy a cactus. I bet Sarah five pocket lids that she can't name. Five C is for cactus connections. Hmm. Easy. Mm -hmm. C is for Cabo San Lucas, mm -hmm. where they drink tequila made from cactuses. Mm -hmm. C is for chlorophyll, which runs through every cactus. Yeah. C is for Canada, which had four different species of cacti. Three. You only got three. C is for cacti, okay. which is the plural cool. of cactus. And C is for Colette Christie, the partner of American wrestler Cactus Fine. Jack, Fine. performed by Mick Foley. Mm -hmm. five mm -hmm. Pay up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now sing! <laughs> row, 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 row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay. I spy with my little eye a street sign. I bet Santos Claus Ten lids that he can't name five S words related to street signs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, S is for stop. Mm -hmm. S is for Sierra Leone, which, although in Africa, has all the street signs written in English. It's true. S is for Sella Ward, an actress that had to interact with street signs in order to get from her Hollywood sets. S is for Sesame, a street which has a very famous name and sign, despite being populated by demonic puppets. <laughs> and this is, this is uh, for um, uh, ah, I lost. Ah, loser. Hey, uh, uh, lawyer. Uh, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Die. Yay! Yeah. Zing, 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 zing. Row, 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 row your, your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. We'll be back with the roads to keep singing. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What does the order in the script say uh, in the script? Yeah, no, no, we'll be back with Maurice, but now sing. Keep singing. Hey, all you out there. It's Maurice again. I'm coming to you real quick just to show you some stuff about going through the world and traveling and how to prepare yourself. So first thing, when you get to a new modern cave, yeah, they're weird. You have to announce yourself. You must let everyone in the other caves know you are here and you have arrived. Yes, so what you do is you, you get up on the highest piece of stuff. You see, you get as high as you can and you make your, your special call that you just, just you make up on your special and unique to yourself. Yeah. And then, when you're ready to leave your modern cave, you, you take some of those little gifts they give you that are sprinkled all around inside and you, you, you wear them. So to show that they mean something to you, you put, put them on, you know, the little caps they give you. Mm, 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 they protect Maurice. Mm, and I can go out and get all wet and still have a little bit of dry on my head. So we do that and we get ourselves looking nice and pretty and then we go out there for adventure. Yeah. <laughs>
Get back in the house, damn it. My God, Mike, what happened? He's dead. Peppy's been killed. Get back in the house, honey. Mike, what kind of place is this? My God, what kind of place is this? I'll take care of everything, honey. Get back in the house. What could have done it? Uh, honey, it was probably some animal from the desert. This place must be full of them. Peppy? You went away, baby. You went away while you were asleep. Mike, I want to leave this place. Now. Okay, honey, we'll leave right away. Where the hell is that caretaker? Targo! Fargo! Did you want me? We're leaving. Would you mind putting the luggage back in the car? As you wish. Right now. Fast, damn it. Fast! I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Wants me? What kind of talk is that? He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. wants you, but he can't have you. I want you. Stop that talk this instant, you hear? He wants you, but he can't have you. Forgive me, madam. I meant no harm. Forgive you? Just wait till I tell my husband. 
I meant no harm, madam. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Very well. I won't tell my husband. Now let me out. Hey, Maggie, the damn car won't start. Margaret? Damn car won't start. Well, that really fixes things. What are we going to do now? I don't know, and I couldn't find anything wrong with it either. Hey, Torgo, where's the phone? Yes, Alexander Graham Bell, you know, telephone. There is none, sir. The master doesn't approve of such devices. The, then where is the nearest phone? The nearest phone is at the crossroads. That's ten miles. Ten miles? Might as well be ten thousand miles. Easy, honey. It won't help to get mad. <sighs> The master won't mind you staying tonight. He has no choice. We can't leave. We can't walk out of here. The damn car won't start. Hmm. I'll just bring the bags back to the room. Sinister. Sinister isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning, and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's my baby. She'll understand. I hope so, darling. I sure hope so. She's my baby. She'll understand. Say, where is she? Oh, my God. Michael! Now don't get wrought up. She's probably playing hide-and-seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe she slipped into one of the rooms. Debbie? 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 Torgo, have you seen Debbie? No. She's gone. Help us find her. She couldn't have gone outside. The door is bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. Is there another exit to the outside? In the kitchen. That door is bolted, too. Outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. Debbie? 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 Mike, I'm scared. The animals in the desert... Cut it out! <laughs> We'll find her. Don't worry. <laughs> Debbie? Debbie? The dog from the portrait. Stand back, Debbie. Stand back. <laughs> Darling, baby, you could have been hurt. <laughs> but you should never run away from us. Debbie, don't ever run away from us. Where did you find the new dog, baby? In a big place. In a big place? Where, Debbie? There was a big, dark place. It was so dark, but I wasn't afraid of the dog. I had all kinds of funny people in it. Where is the place, Debbie? Over here, Daddy. <laughs> Let's 
get out of here. Let's go. Get in the bedroom and lock yourself in. I'm going to find Torgo. He's got some explaining to do. Hurry, please, hurry. I want her. She's mine, mine, mine. Do you hear? I want this one. You have all the wives you need. She's mine. Look! Oh, you pretty ones. Let me see how good you are. I won't need you anymore. I have my own wife. I won't have to come in here to dream of having one of you. You, you're the worst. You were his first wife. He doesn't want you anymore. Now even I don't want you. Through it, all of you. <laughs> Through! <laughs> Through! Do you hear me?
Again? How many times do you have to be told? Like, wow. Oh, have a heart, will you? Go chase that other couple. What other couple? Who's that idiot? The one deeper in the desert. Find them and chew on them a while. We know that this road goes nowhere. So now get. No smart stuff. We ain't trying to jump on you. Just get. Thou of primal darkness, thou who dwelleth in the depth of the universe in the black chasms of night. Mother darkness upon thy faithful to live eternally in her keeping. Thou dost make him most blessed forever. And thou who dost curse with eternal burning light those who transgress against thee. Holy art thou, holy art thou, holy art thou. Manos will be done. Thy priesthood remains steadfast. Thy priesthood remains constant. Thy priesthood remains righteous. Thou hast taught us, O Manos, and we have listened. Give ear to our words, O Manos, and hear us. Hear us, hear us, for we are faithful, and thou art our God. Arise, my wives, give ear to the words of Manos. Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manos. Why has a child been brought here? Why? And a female child at that. To be a woman. And as the oldest of the wives, I demand that she will live. It doesn't matter if she was brought here, she was killed. The child will make you grow up to be a woman. And as the oldest of the wives, I I have never complained about sacrificing a man. But a child? The woman is all we want. The others must die. They all must die. We do not even want the woman. The child is a female. She must not be destroyed. She will grow up to be a woman. She must be killed. No. I am the no. oldest of the wives, and it is my privilege to say that. Enough! Enough of this stupid bickering. The child must die. If you persist in this foolishness, your usefulness will come to an end. Say what you will, I will have no part of this madness. She lives. And I say yes. she must die. Yes. I don't know what they're no, doing here in the first child. place. Yes. Torgo should never have allowed them in, and I want... You have caused enough trouble. I think perhaps your service to us is at its end now. Silence! Silence! <laughs> and now, my wives, I shall deal with the one who is responsible for the child being here. Torgo! He's the one! Get Torgo! You are responsible for this nonsense. We shall dispose of you later.
It is a terrible mistake. The man, yes. The child, no. Maybe she's right. Maybe we should spare the child. It is against our will that we stay here. Do not make the child die to satisfy him. He does not need any more wives. Yes, he has no more time. Older wives. Just the newest. Huh. Jealousy is not part of us. Why are you so jealous of me? You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. Die? I may die, but I do not care. The child must live. She is right. We will not kill the child. But Manos would not approve. The law of Manos exists for us only. Manos loves women. She will grow up to be a woman. She may. Master hears of this, he will be furious. You are all mad, mad, the whole lot of you. The man, yes, the child, no. Sir, what are you doing here? You have failed us, Torgo. I know of your visits to the tomb. My visits? The women have told me. They may not be able to say anything or move when you're there. But they remember everything you say to them. And everything you do to them. But, Master, you have six wives. Why can't I have one for myself? You are not one of us. Therefore, you cannot have one of them. Yes, but I have one now. This one is mine. You will never get her. You have failed us, Torgo. For this, you must die. Fail you? No. You have failed yourselves. You never kill them. I'll help them. You have failed, and you must die. Oh, 
We have been driving forever. Are we there yet? Oh I'm so hungry. I can eat horse food. I, dude, stop whining. Our legal bald eagle, Santos Plus, is catching some sweet Z's before our day in court. We're not going to an actual court and we're not in a car going anywhere actually. Can't I just go to the kitchen and make a snack? Come on, pretty please, Sarah. Here, take the wheel and see if we've got any snacks. Oh my God, I'm Hank Marvin, truly ravenous I am. Oh, full silent now, I'll get you what you want. Oh, yummy pork scratch jeans and cheese <sighs> twist. Not on your nelly. Your food is all American it is. Oh, nosh is what I need, mm -hmm. come on now. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm. yes. Hit a lay-by and fancy some cheeky Nando's. God, is this bit over yet? Almost. One more thing. Hello, 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 Governor. It's snack time. I've got the wheel. Yeah, she's got the wheel. Damn it! <laughs> Like hands. Or like hands of fate. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, when should we get back on the road? Mm -hmm. All right, to host a government mandated television show without being victims of greasy pirates isn't going to fight for itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mighty is right. We better get back on the road because by the time we finish Manos with our mandated friends, we should have a verdict from Judge Chair. I mean, I'm so nervous. No. Nah. What's the worst that can happen? Mm. Uh, yeah. Santos? What? Everything all right? Oh yes, let's continue on. Mike D, let's get the gang back to Torgo and company. I need to speak privately with you, Miss C, about the pressing legal matter. The pressing legal matter you have 100% under control, lawyer guy. Correct? Yes. All right, back to Manor. Manos, God of primal darkness, as thou hast decreed, so have I done. The hands of fate have doomed this man. Thy will is done. <laughs>
one. She has upset all of our plans. This foolishness must stop. Purpose must be served. There will be no further insolence. But the child. We cannot kill a child. Yes, we can. You have caused enough trouble. As soon as we have disposed of Torgo, we shall take care of you. Your power fails you. I have no more fear. Seize her and prepare her for sacrifice. Well done, my wives. The will of Manos shall be served. that he be sacrificed. Kill, kill, kill. Mano has decreed it. Kill, kill.
Margaret, open the door. Margaret, open the door. Enough. The ceremony is done. doesn't help anymore. You're all finished. <laughs> Okay, honey, we'll leave, we'll leave. We've got to leave now. I can't stand it any longer. Please, Mike. We'll hide in the desert. Someone will help. The gods will destroy you. Your power fails. You cannot endure. Destroy. <laughs> the gods destroy me. <laughs> <coughs> Destroy me. I am permanent. Minos has made me permanent. Your power fails you. You are losing your control. Even Torgo defied you. And he was destroyed even as you shall be. Your power does not affect me anymore. Even your other wives do not trust you. <laughs> See, I do not fear you, even though you beat me. Beat me again. Beat! Beat! <laughs> I do not fear you. <laughs> We'll make it. Let's go. <laughs> Nothing up that way. Let, let, let's go this way. Mike, Mike, are you all right? 
fan. Mike, we can't go on this way. We've got to keep going. They have gone. They have left the house. We have searched everywhere. Find them. They must not escape. Find them. No, leave them alone. We cannot kill a child. Enough talk. Find them. Manos will be served. No, Maggie, we can make it. We'll rest here for a minute. We can make it. Let's go back. They'll never think of looking for us at the house. You know, you might have a point there. Please, Mike, please, I can't go any farther. Listen, we can lock ourselves in the kitchen. I have my gun. We'll have to go back. Okay. It might be the safest place, especially since they're out here looking for us. Girl, I'm scared. Where's my puppy? Please, Debbie, not now. That sure sounded like shots. We'd better check. This hour of the night, there can't be anybody out here. This is the boondock. Well, sound does travel a long way at night. It could be clear over in Mexico, for that matter.
good to get away. Damn the rain. Vacations are fine, but this one should be great. Yeah, the gang's coming up for the weekend. What a blast. Hmm. Welcome. I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. Don't forget such 
Dear viewers, Santos splatted up. Big time. Mm -hmm. Turns out Tommy Hall is the beloved great grand nephew of Judge Jeremy of White Creek's highest court. And while it is true we had a slam dunk case, what didn't turn out to be true was that all of our paperwork was in order. Mm hmm. Uh, Santos Claus here uh, forgot all the papers for our piracy case back at our production office in the Splash. Okay, yeah, and thanks to Archaic Laws, author just after the Y2K crippled our town, we weren't allowed to just hump off this bed and go grab the file which rests just five feet from where we're filming right now. Ironically, there was also a clause in the law yeah. which prevented us from submitting any documents to the court that were not present in our fake vehicle during our fake journey. It's all so stupid. So. While the judge ultimately did rule in our favor, meaning the court recognized that our broadcast was hijacked, which is good. I guess. It also resulted in a bizarre decision to alter an episode and not the specific episode in question. All right, Santos Claus. Our court-appointed lucha lawyer lost his splatty mind and started going full Pacino on his honor. A literal gag order was placed on Santos and he was held in contempt. Mike D and I had to remain present but had zero authority over actions or conditions. Turns out the old judge is no fan of that carnal act of dance. So replacing the sadist with the swayziest was ruled no-go from Jump Street. But legally, Judge Jeremy had to positively alter one of our episodes. Positively. And that old bat went straight from my heart. In a ruling that no one saw coming, the highest court in White Creek decided in a one to zero vote to permanently remove our presentation of Holy Virgin versus the Evil Dead. R.I.P. Because the court states the presentation of Holy Virgin versus the Evil Dead played a direct role in turning Tommy Hall from a beloved citizen into the dreaded pirate we know him as now. All because Santos forgot the papers here before we left on our road trip from here. It's all so stupid. <sighs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. The rest of the episode is your job, Bucko. Tell them what's coming up next on the Slumber Party Sleepover. And do it in character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As us. Mm -hmm. Sarah. And Mike D. And make it charming. Well, obviously. Yeah, I mean, if he's doing us. I'm Sarah, and on your next mandated sleepover, it's a dick party. <laughs> I'm Mike D, and I love dick parties. Oh, great. Then you're going to love our next party because it's full of dick. How many dicks? One dick, Mike D. One giant dick. Can we show that to the town? Won't the Ministry of Decency fine us? Fine us? Because I'm talking about Dick Miller. A mill of dicks? Shut up, Mike D. Okay, join us next time for a bucket of blood from the team that brought you Little Shops of Horrors only on the mandated slumber party sleepover. Ha 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 ha. That's fine. I guess. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Bye.
Next up on the mandated slumber party sleepover. The artist. The poet. The figure model who loves to show it. You suppose he could be physically attracted to her? No, man, he ain't the type. You don't get enough vitamin E. All these are beat. All these you'll meet in a bucket of blood. Let us make the scene. Crazy. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Where the hilarious enjoy the horrifying. In a bucket of blood. No, you're gonna shoot me, don't shoot! Come to the land of living dreams where realists dream of the unreal. Walter, you've done something to me. Something deep down inside of my prana. Oh, Walter, I want to be with you. You're creative. Beatniks at their bawdiest. The creative urge at its most primitive. I'm deeply moved. And I shall compose a poem. Love is art. Art is love. It's the weirdest and the wildest. I don't want to make statues anymore. I, I want to get married to you. <laughs> 